So how do you mic up a goalie for on-ice commentary? I'll show you how I do it, coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the VO Goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content, so if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So if you're new to my channel or you didn't already know, I do voiceovers full-time for a living. That means I'm here in my studio every day recording projects for people all over the world. So usually, that means my studio looks like this. But every so often, it looks like this. So because I do audio production for a living, when I started my channel, the audio quality was one of the biggest things that I was concerned about. I mean, because that's what I do every day. And truth be told, I shoot the majority of my videos here in my recording studio, primarily because my audio gear is already set up. But what I've been dying to do for a long time is on-ice commentary in real time. And after doing a ton of research, I think I found the best solution that doesn't break the bank. So in this video, I'll talk about two different microphone setups that I use when I record my on-ice footage, and hopefully help out some of you out there. Now before we get started, I want to know what kind of videos you prefer. Do you want to see more on-ice commentary videos? Or do you want to see more post-game analysis? Let me know in the comments below. So I have to admit, one of my passions in life is equipment, and that includes goalie equipment and audio equipment. And if you're anything like me, you love this time of year, because now is the time that all of last year's goalie equipment goes on clearance. And I mean, who doesn't like getting a deal? And I am the exact same way when it comes to audio equipment, most of the time. So all of the mics that I'm going to talk to you about today are all under $100. I'll put a link to all of the equipment I talk about in the description below. Now disclaimer, these will be affiliate links. And while they won't cost you any extra money, I will get a small commission based on sales. So using the links below helps to support this channel. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing we need is a camera. And if you've watched some of my other older videos, you might know that I use a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Now currently the latest model of GoPro is the Hero 7. But like I said, I'm always about getting deals, man. And in my opinion, the GoPro Hero 4 Black is the best camera for making hockey videos. One, it's at a seriously discounted price now. And two, it's the accessories, which are also at a discounted price, that really make it stand out for hockey. So if we didn't have a budget and this was an NHL production level video, aside from all of their fancy camera gear, the goalie or player would be mic'd up with some serious professional wireless audio equipment. Generally, they wear a microphone and a transmitter. The microphone picks up their voice, and then the transmitter sends that signal to a receiver, either in the control room or the camera. But for my purposes, I am a one-man production team, so I can't shoot my own video or monitor my own audio. So after testing a whole bunch of different methods, I found the best solution. And that's the Removu Bluetooth microphone for GoPros. So what's great about this mic is that it is wireless technology and is designed specifically for the GoPro Hero 4, 3, and 3 Plus. So in the package, you get a microphone with a built-in transmitter and a receiver that attaches to the back of your GoPro. What's awesome is that it's designed for the GoPro, so your video is embedded with the audio it receives from the transmitter. The receiver fits onto the back of the GoPro like this, and then gets connected to the GoPro with this included ribbon cable. And while this seems a little unrefined, the design has to be this way so it still fits in the waterproof housing. Which, by the way, you will need to buy an extended backdoor cover for your GoPro Hero 4 case. So both the microphone and the transmitter have built-in rechargeable batteries, and on a full charge, last upwards of five or six hours. So using the mic is as simple as turning on the camera, turning on the receiver, and turning on the transmitter. Once they're on, they pair pretty quickly via Bluetooth. And then the best part of this microphone is that it comes with a waterproof protective case. And the waterproof case has a clip so you can clip it onto a piece of your gear. So the waterproof case is great because, I don't know about you, but I sweat a lot when I play hockey. And generally, wireless microphones and sweat don't mix. But this case definitely keeps moisture out while still recording a pretty clear signal. And at under 50 bucks, I mean, there's just no way you can go wrong with these things if you want to get clean audio from your on-ice games. Okay, so now I know you're wondering, where do you clip this onto yourself? So for me, I install this microphone in my mask. 
So if we take a look at my mask, I have a chin sling installed instead of a chin cup. But what I did was I ran a nylon strap directly underneath my chin sling. And then I clipped the mic right onto the strap and I'm good to go. Now I like the solution because one, it doesn't involve me clipping it onto a piece of equipment that can get struck with a puck. You know, whether that be on a neck guard or inside of my chest protector or on my jersey somewhere. Generally, anytime you can get a microphone closer to your mouth, the better. Believe me, I've tried other solutions with lav mics and cables and mic packs and all this other stuff, and it can be a production. Now, maybe you don't want to record your voice while you're playing. And believe me, it's a lot harder than it looks. It's kind of like driving in a high-speed car chase while you're talking on your cell phone at a job interview. So maybe you just want to capture better audio of the rink and the sounds of the game. For that, I use the Sennheiser MKE-2 Elements. Now, if you don't already know, Sennheiser is one of the leaders in audio equipment and microphones. So this mic is touted as being rugged and waterproof and able to withstand extreme conditions. And it's an integrated microphone, so this actually replaces the back door of your GoPro waterproof case and then integrates with your GoPro seamlessly. So all you have to do is snap off the back door, snap this on, And then you just connect the PCB board to the USB port. And if you're not using an extended battery, it comes with a foam insert to stabilize the camera inside the case. <laughs> and then close it up and you're good to go. So this giant windscreen is a waterproof windscreen. If you unscrew it from the case, you can see just how small this microphone actually is. The mic itself is also flexible. This Sennheiser mic captures some fantastic audio. And if you want to hear a sample, I used it in my vlog here. And that's the Removu, and that's the Removu, and that's the Removu GoPro, and that's the Removu Bluetooth GoPro, and that's the Removu Bluetooth GoPro microphone.